Well, the project would generate thousands of jobs and millions of dollars in both tax revenue and profits and would make the area look a lot nicer. I think it's time, definitely time for a makeover, long overdue. Military Circle Mall, fond memories of a place that John Griffin used to hang out at. Military Circle was, you know, real live, meaning it was very open, a lot of people, uh, you know, a lot of military families here. I mean, Military Circle was the perfect hangout place, especially as a teenager. Michael Roundtree lives across the street and doesn't like what he sees right now. News 3 flew the drone over the area today. It's just a sore on the eyes, you know, from what it used to be. I think, you know, and something needs to be done with all that land deal and then the space and the location. And if some big time players like NFL legend Emmett Smith and Pharrell Williams get their way, the entire place will get a makeover. More details about the three proposals on the table were released. Smith presented the Crossroads proposal Thursday night. It includes an arena, a sports complex, a hotel, homes and businesses, along with a park and open space. The second proposal is called The Well. There's a lake, parks, and open space, as well as plans for an outdoor amphitheater and a rec center. Pharrell is the lead developer on the third proposal, called The Wellness Circle. The plan includes a medical campus, homes, retail, and a hotel. It also calls for an arena and a community space. I do like the fact that they would have a sports complex, housing, and retail. I think that mix would be dynamite for the area. The owner of Philip Michael Fashion for Men, located across the street, loves the idea of revitalization and believes it could help his business. Oh, it'll definitely increase the visibility for our business. It'll increase traffic and it'll increase the visibility for us. One man told us he doesn't like change, but everybody else that we spoke to today really supported the idea of this project. It definitely needs, you know, a, a upgrade, a boost. I just hope that whatever they build will be for everybody in the community, everybody in the city, including off of Virginia Beach and, uh, and, and across the water. According to the city, the Economic Development Authority purchased much of the area back in 2020. Ultimately, they say they want to redevelop it into a thriving, walkable district. So, Margaret, all of those proposals are very interesting and fascinating. What's the timeline on this? Well, if the plan moves forward, work could begin as early as the next few months and last uh, several years. It just depends on how everything unfolds. Lots of great options there. Thanks, Margaret.